tournament time, and uh, I guess you guys got to wait to see who you're going to play, but either going to be George Mason or Fordham, and I guess at this point it's just, you know, you take every game one game at a time and don't worry so much about the opponent. Yeah, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. You know, it's kind of a new season. It's a fresh start for everybody, and, you know, once you go to a conference tournament, you know, there's a championship on the line, and everyone's going there to advance and stay as long as they can. And, you know, the one thing we're really focused on this week is going to be not only ourselves, but it's going to be that word advance. You know, we have got to find a way to continue to play well and, and win. And at this time of year, you want to be playing as deep into March as you can. You know, that's our ultimate goal is to win championships. You know, that's what we talked about at the beginning of the year. And like you said, our team is uh, a very deep team. Um, Coach Miller has said it uh, often this year that, you know, various players have stepped up in various situations all the way down to the freshmen. So we have a lot of confidence going into this um, final stretch. And, you know, we just want to make sure we take care of Thursday. I think we have confidence in, uh, in how we do things. I think we've been very consistent over the course of the last month and a half. And uh, I think we've had some, some really good wins under our belt that's given us confidence to win a lot of different ways. We've been behind. We've been ahead. We've been on the road and we've been home. So, you know, I think as we go into this neutral setting, we're prepared. I mean, if it's in a tournament setup, you know, you don't really think about it. You're just excited to try and win in advance. So if it happens that you play four games in four days, uh, I wouldn't think that was a bad thing since you'll be playing in the championship. I think the league has pretty much demonstrated, you know, that it's one of the strongest conferences in the country. And after going through it for the whole year, um, it's been a heck of a grind. And uh, you watch a lot of teams get better. And I think just, you know, coming out today, I think we have six teams in the top 50 of the RPI. And I look at some of the teams that are seated a little bit lower in the conference tournament and how they're playing right now. You don't want to play them. Um, so it should be a really, really fun event. Um, I think that the teams that are playing, you know, for high stakes right now are going to give their best effort. And I think you're going to get an unbelievable event. Exactly. We got to focus on ourselves, um, focus on staying um, concentrated and practice every day. And, you know, Fordham and George Mason, uh, I think are both good teams, even though they may be near the bottom of the co our conference. They're both uh, quality teams, and we got to be ready to go on Thursday, no letdowns. When we get involved in, in any type of traveling, you know, uh, I'd be surprised if we don't have the most fans there, which is that's a great thing to be a player here and a coach here is that every time you, you hit the road or any time you, you hit one of these events, you know, you're going to be supported, and um, it's going to be a fun environment. Always, man. You know, we have a special fan base. Um, we all know that Maui was incredible. Uh, you know, we had tons of fans there, and I think they'll be in Brooklyn again this year. So it's exciting to have a, a fan base that supports you wherever you go.